What is going on everyone? Supreme Kyber here. So we're gonna quickly go over what we're gonna get for next week's content over here. So I thought we we're gonna be getting another Gundam uh, Battle Festival banner, but we, I was wrong. Uh, we're actually gonna be getting a standard week because uh, they kind of teased us already. They gave us a kind of teaser that we are gonna get a one to one scale uh, alteration for the Force Impulse over here. So we are getting a new Force Impulse over here. Uh, so we have these two new banners for next week. So um, that's good. I would say that is really good. Uh, it's gonna be a week where everyone can just recuperate from their horror spending uh, because they have been dropping a lot of like crazy stuff. Like um, this was last last week we got the. All right, so let's let's talk about this. All right, so last week, like, is is there during this there's during this week? Um, we were supposed to be getting like the we are getting the material D, but what did they do? Uh, they gave us these three bad. I wouldn't say bad banners, but these are three banners. I don't think anyone would release someone on. What they could have done was they could have dropped Strike Freedom and Infinite Justice on this week's like that surprise Thursday banner they could have dropped it right on here but you know what they did they drop it on to like uh a week ago from today like i'm like bro like why so instead of getting the material e we got the material d instead so um they have been playing around with us for like a little bit uh this week they could have done so last week they could have done they could have done like a standard week and giving us like a um like so kai week this week because we like because the next week i'm going to talk about for incoming sub we are getting a like a standard week so two standard week in a row but as always they're going to drop some surprise stuff on like that thursday so better watch out for that all right so let's go back to the notice page so that was just a little spew over there like i don't know why they would have they, they wouldn't drop like a good banner to let us get some material e but it's whatever at this point um so the welfare event or the welfare machine for this week is the hammer hammer <laughs> i think that's that, that's how you, that's how you, it is how you pronounce it so um so for next week's stuff um the coin multiplier is going to be the gundam double diver uh we have the the what is it the gundam double o higher than sky so this is like the prerequisite or you can say like the base model uh, when Riku just got into like the build divers, like the build, di build diver series, so that was his starting out kits over here. Like they're go like they're reverting it, going back to his or original unit. I'm like, hmm. So what we can expect to get? We're gonna be getting like the full suit, obviously, and then we can get some GM beam saber, GM beams, uh, GM sword two, and then GM sword two rivals over here. Um, I did. I did went back to take a look at what we got for the double sky higher than sky face. I uh, just want to see what kind of war tag we were looking at. I'll go over that in a bit. Uh, we have the S attribute for simple Gundam over here. Um, oh, let's see what we're going to get. Okay, so this time we're going to be getting the uh, folding laser anti armor sword over or anti knife over here. Um, the P version that we got, we did not get that. So um, the one we already have. The word tags are pretty trash. Yeah. So hopefully they can fix something up for this guy over here. But anyways, I want to want your scale alteration parts is always welcome because we do need some uh I would say we need some more variety. Um I've been like when I do part review, I've been going through a lot of like the one we had like I have been I have been going through a lot of the five that we have already gone. So yeah. It's it's a good change that we got something new over here. And it is good they are staying as for right now, they're staying to only like the standard part. So uh, a lot, of, a lot of people uh, will have can uh, access to these part a lot more easier compared to if they would have dropped like a one to one scale alteration for like the so guys of the limit one over here. So here's all the other um, what is it like the coin multiplier over here? All right, so let me exit this out over here. So I want to take quickly talk about these two banner over here because they do drop their own individual like. Um, goodies or you can say freebie so for the Gundam Double Diver units over here we are getting that build tune up material alpha um, so we can get all right so how's the step looking at so five step in total all right so the fifth set you are guaranteed one of the five of heart which means uh, you can get one of the uh, you can get one of the double diver which um, it, it is really good it depends on how good the unit is um, by by all means probably skip this one as for now um the goodie is good like the freebie you get um the tune-up material over there obviously that's like the main the main selling point of it but i don't think people should like 
spinner on this spinner i think they should wait for at least wait for the thursday to see if they're gonna drop anything new because on a, on a, on a standard week they will for sure drop something new like i wouldn't even be surprised if they roll out like a new build project like um they might not do like an all new build project unit they can just go back and do you know what they can actually give us the alteration for the uh, build project uh, Sengoku Asher right now if that's if they want to plan that right now or they can go back and give us the revive um for the t-type shining gundam or the first lago chestbreaker at the same time as well so um as the main selling point for next week is going to be the force impulse 1 to 100 skill alteration obviously um i'm pretty sure the rate isn't going to be too too good um obviously because like it's a standard week so if anything wait a month to get it into the uh from the four star pick ticket because within a month later um we should we sh they should be rolling into the um standard for the uh standard pickup ticket um page so i think that's a better bet to just get it at that point i don't think anyone should really go into these two banner unless they are exceptionally exceptionally really good other than that i don't i don't think it's that much so we have two new uh, AI pilot over here so uh, as for AI pilot I don't really suggest people summoning on it uh, we, whenever we get like the free ticket to summon on I that's that's mostly, mostly what I do I don't go for these because like the build project pilots are, are 10 times better because they a they have alteration and and b they have like double portrait uh, double portrait so that's gonna make um, that that's gonna make use of it a lot more better than these over here but uh, let's do take take a look at like what they can pack for those two standards over here. Uh, let me see. Uh, they went back to build out the four simples and the double double sky higher than the sky over here. So let's actually take a look at this one over here. So we got this one as a Sokai uh, unit like way back. I would say February if I'm not mistaken around that time maybe. Or late January, so this is the double sky higher than sky. Obviously, this is after Riku kind of got defeated, not defeated, but like he kind of got uh, well, he, he kind of got defeated and then like he want to upgrade his unit. If you guys can, s I don't know if you can see it, there should be like a little dash or like a little hit mark right on the chest cavity area. Um, that's that's when he wanted to upgrade his unit over here. So, as for the word tag we were looking at, um, for sure, for the center, like for any like the uh what is it build fighter build divers series and all that suit uh for the second one they i'm pretty sure they're gonna drop another for computer tech for these kind of units over here so that is something i can expect that them to put um they can obviously go back to putting um pro tag gundam type and high mobility because it would fit the whole um char characteristic of the um, double diver or yeah i think that would be i think I think that would be a pretty good fitting as well, but uh, for sure they would put computer uh, for computer. So, all right. So coming back to over here. So this is the force samples we have over here. I uh, got the full full suit over here. Uh, as for the word tag, oh man, they really did <laughs> the back in the day force samples really really dirty. So the only two pro tag tag <laughs> for this guy is actually coming up from the shield and the beam saber. Uh, no, not from the beam saber. Beam, beam rival. So is Shin actually a, a pro tag in Gundam C or is it uh, or Sakira? Let me know down in the comment section. <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to start anything, but like, why? Why didn't they put pro tag in any of the other part? Like, what are they doing? Is he not the protagonist of like uh, Gundam C Destiny? Like, what's going on? Um, so hopefully they don't go back and do like for Tundra mid range and all that, all that bad juju over here. Um, so hopefully they give us like some really good tags like pro tag, high mobility. I, I mean, force and post is more of like a well rounded unit. So I mean, they can bridge it out and give us like an type so you can bridge it out to like a shot build, but <laughs> please don't give us for, tund for Tundra or like mid range. Uh, they, I mean, they can. If they give us more mid range, I think it'll help out strike freedom build a lot more easier because like the arm, um, the arm of the strike freedom is a mid range. So I, I mean in that perspective, you can kind of work something out. Uh, but in terms of the ex skill, um, well for the ex skill as of right now, we have the chest Vulcan over here from the chest. <laughs> yeah, obviously, and then we have like the um, what is it, the pocket knife over here. 
that's the ex skill and then we have the excalibur if they are going to give us another excalibur um ex skill hopefully they up the animation instead of just giving us like the general like dashing and that's it um hopefully they can give us just a little bit more um so us for the like the freebie we're gonna be getting um so you get obviously you get the uh what is it the more tune up from doing these over you get five a day anyway so um in order to upgrade a go to a red you need it takes about what 40 eight days because you get five per day and then it's gonna it's gonna take you eight days to get 40 to exchange for that for that bill marks over here so if you do something you get 10 for you get 10 uh, per multi summons i was I, w I wouldn't so just for that i wouldn't like really suggest people summon just for that because you can just wait eight days uh, eight days is not gonna it's not that hard to go by i would say so there's really no point in chasing those spill mark uh build tune up awakening things over here and then as for the what is it if you guys are summoning all oh, just because you get those uh big alternation tool you're wrong we actually do get it uh, from time to time we get them from these uh, crew multi mission over here so we can quickly go down over here uh, where are they at it should be somewhere around here did i complete it yet uh, let me see i'm trying to find it um it should be around here all right so it's this one over here this is the crew multi mission and you can get them this way um, because we don't really have too many, I would say, big alteration units over here as of right now. And look at how much we do get by just completing uh, 20 of those uh, crew multi mission. We get, we get, I have completed some already, so we can't actually see how much we're going to be getting. But you have, you have two, two, and three. So you get about seven just from over here. So um, don't summon an advantage just because you want those big alteration tool because you can get it in this way over here so at this point in time i do have quite a lot sitting here let me see um i should have a couple sitting here already right uh yeah i have 21 21 over here and it isn't i don't think it takes that much i think it takes about three we can just actually give a quick check as well why not <laughs> um so the freebie aren't something like oh my god i really need the freebie right because those are something you can get uh gradually so don't just summon because of those freebie over there so it only takes one so i can do about 21 of those big alteration over here so <laughs> that is not something in a concern right now so uh once it drop i'll i'll take a look at the take a look to see uh how the alter alteration version of the uh, force impulses looks like but as for the uh double divers i don't think it's anything too concerning if anything wait a week uh, wait not a week a whole month until they drop it into the shop uh, i think that's going to be a little bit more accessible to most players this week should be a week where everyone just you know calm down um you know don't do one don't do any summoning as until thursday to see if they're going to drop any new anything new right um this should be a good week to like recuperate from like all those horror spin and all those all those previous banners. So with that being said, uh, this is just a quick overview of what we're gonna get for next week, and then I will catch you guys on the next one.